Robert George Clements was a physician and a fellow of the Royal College of Surgeons from Belfast, Northern Ireland. Clements is suspected of the murder of his fourth wife, who died of a morphine poisoning. His first three wives also died before him, raising suspicions that he murdered them also. Clements carried out suicide by an overdose of morphine before the police came to arrest him. Clements married four times. Three of his four wives were heiresses. His first wife, Edith Annie Mercia, who was active in the Ulster Women's Union Council and the daughter of a wealthy Belfast grain merchant, Dufferin Flower and Meal Mills, owner William Turpin Mercia, died of sleeping sickness in 1920, aged just 40. His second wife, Mary McCreary, was the daughter of an Irish industrialist based in Manchester. Her 1925 death was ascribed to endocarditis at age 25. His third wife, Sarah Kathleen Burke, known as Kathleen, died on 27th of May 1939, which was also ascribed to endocarditis. Kathleen was quickly cremated, though the police had made an attempt to halt the cremation. By all accounts, Clements had genuine affection for Burke. His last wife, Amy Victoria V. Barnett, was the daughter of one of Clement's few patients, Reginald W. G. Barnett, the wealthy managing director of the Liverpool Cartage Company, who had died suddenly in January 1940, six months before his daughter's wedding in June. The last Mrs. Clements died on 27th of May 1947, under suspicious circumstances in Southport. The previous day, Clements had called another doctor when his wife fell ill. She was taken to the Ashley Bank nursing home where she died the next day. Both Clements and the other doctor diagnosed myeloid leukaemia, which was confirmed by a botched post-mortem carried out by another physician, James Houston. The circumstances of this last death caused people at the time to question the deaths of Clements' first three wives, of whom the first and second were wealthy women when he married them and were almost penniless at the time of their death. Clements had signed the death certificates himself, and although there had been some suspicions voiced following the death of his third wife, there was no opportunity to perform a post-mortem, as by then her body had already been cremated. A second autopsy was conducted on Mrs Clements by a Dr Grace, who deduced that she had died from morphine poisoning. This was confirmed by Dr J B Fair, director of the Home Office Laboratory in Preston. Clements is thought to have murdered his wife in order to inherit her money. When the police came to arrest Clements, they found that he had taken his own life by way of an overdose of morphine. Clements was found to have died on 30th of May 1947 at 20 Promenade, Southport. He left an estate valued for probate at £18,047, on which probate was granted to Robert George Wilson Clements, a farmer. Amy Victoria Clements was found to have left an estate valued at £56,180, equivalent to £2,338,473 in 2021. When Houston learned that his post-mortem had missed the presence of morphine, he also took his own life.